Hi, I'm John Ainsley from Dulos. On this video, I'm going to answer the question, how much system Verilog training do you need? There's a number of different system Verilog course titles available from Dulos and from other vendors. The question is, which class should you choose and how much system Verilog training do you need anyway? I'm going to help answer these questions by explaining Dulos's system Verilog training portfolio. I'll explain how to choose the right class, and I'll also point out the main pitfalls to avoid. The first question is whether you should choose a course aimed at novices or a course aimed at people who already have experience with Verilog or VHDL. At Dulos, we offer several training classes aimed at novices. There's Comprehensive Verilog, which teaches Verilog, and System Verilog for New Designers, which teaches System Verilog. Both of these courses are aimed at people learning their first hardware description language. The learning outcome of both courses is that they'll prepare you to start using Verilog or System Verilog on a live project. Both courses teach hardware design using RTL synthesis and teach you how to write basic test benches. Public training classes are typically technology agnostic, but if you ask us to run this class at your site, we can tailor it to the specific tool chain and FPGA technology that you're interested in. Then there's system Verilog training courses for people who already know Verilog or VHDL. In other words, learning system Verilog as a second hardware description language. Comprehensive System Verilog is our most complete System Verilog language training class in the sense that it teaches all the System Verilog language features you're likely to need for design or for verification. As you can see, Comprehensive System Verilog is split into two parts. System Verilog for designers and class-based verification. If you attend a public class, you can attend either the full week or just the System Verilog for Designers part. It would be unusual to attend class-based verification without also attending System Verilog for Designers. Looking at Comprehensive System Verilog in a bit more detail, the first three days, which is System Verilog for Designers, teaches the basics of the System Verilog language. It teaches data types, system Verilog interfaces, system Verilog assertions, clocking blocks, and gives an introduction to randomization and functional coverage, specifically for hardware designers. In other words, it gives you a good foundation in the features of the system Verilog language used for design and for verification. We chose the title System Verilog for Designers because, obviously, it teaches all that a hardware designer with a Verilog background would need to know to use System Verilog. But it's also appropriate for people who want to go on to use System Verilog for verification. The last two days, class-based verification introduces you to the object-oriented programming features of System Verilog and teaches you how to use constrained random verification. This is where people coming from a Verilog or VHDL background sometimes start to struggle. Dulos instructors call this hitting the Thursday wall. It helps a lot if you already have some object-oriented programming experience. Hardware designers who know they're not going to become verification specialists sometimes skip these last two days, although the last two days are essential if you're going to go on to learn UVM. The next option to talk about is System Verilog for Verification Specialists. Well, as the name suggests, this is aimed at people who want to focus on System Verilog for verification and are not so interested in using System Verilog for hardware design. This course is a popular choice for on-site team-based training. The first two days is pretty much the same content as System Verilog for Designers, which is itself a three-day course but it assumes a different start point and has slightly different learning goals. So System Verilog for Designers, the three-day class, assumes you've used Verilog to write RTL code and basic test benches, whereas System Verilog for Verification assumes more of a verification background and preferably some knowledge of constrained random verification. The objective of the first two days of System Verilog for Verification Specialists is to teach you just what you need to know in preparation for the final two days, class-based verification. So, that's the System Verilog language training. Now let's look at System Verilog Verification Methodology, or UVM, the Universal Verification Methodology. 
At Doulos, we offer what we call the UVM Adopter class as a follow-on to the Comprehensive System Verilog or System Verilog for Verification Specialists classes. And the key that I want to focus on here is the class-based verification part of the System Verilog training. Class-based verification teaches you how to use System Verilog to build constrained random verification environments. And it's critical that you learn class-based verification before trying to learn UVM. One of the biggest pitfalls we've seen over the years is people trying to jump straight into UVM without first learning the necessary System Verilog language skills. It just doesn't work, and you end up floundering around without really knowing what you're doing. So at Doulos, we teach the System Verilog language in the context of building class-based verification environments before trying to teach the specific methodologies. And we find this works even for people coming from a hardware design background, provided they don't try to compress the training too much, which is another story we'll come on to in a minute. The UVM Adopter class itself is a very intense four-day training class. As you might expect, it teaches you everything you need to know to get started with UVM. But it also teaches you about best practice and about reuse, so you can start using UVM properly right from the start. We've made most of the examples and exercise files in this class conform to the Doulos Easier UVM coding guidelines, so you can start using the coding guidelines immediately after the class if that's what you want to do. The Easier UVM coding guidelines are all about helping to ensure UVM best practice right from the start. So let's talk about customised on-site training now. At Doulos, we can mix and match training courses and tailor them to suit your specific requirements, but we do find that certain course combinations occur again and again. One of the most popular combinations for VHDL users is running Fast Track Verilog for VHDL users back to back with System Verilog for Verification Specialists as a five day class. This, of course, is popular where a team of VHDL users is, mo is moving to System Verilog but wants to fit their training within five days. The thing to watch out for is to realise that this is a compromise because it means compressing two days of Verilog training into just one day. Then System Verilog for Verification Specialists is already compressing three days of training into two days, so you end up in effect with seven days of training compressed into five. This means it's very hard work for people who don't have the appropriate background in object-oriented programming or constrained random verification, but can work for people with the right background. But as an aside, I want to emphasise that you shouldn't underestimate the learning curve for System Verilog. It is hard. There's a lot to learn and you really can't shortcut the learning process. In the end, you'll need to dedicate a lot of time to learning System Verilog and constrained random verification and object-oriented programming and UVM. If you try to shortcut the formal training, you'll end up paying the penalty by having to spend a lot more time making your mistakes on project. Now, of course, I quite understand that this will be the reality for some of you, but I'm just trying to set up your expectations properly before you begin. Having said that, project pressures and budget constraints mean that managers often want to cram all the training for their team into just five days, and we sometimes get called upon to deliver System Verilog and UVM training all in the same week. The way we do that is to run System Verilog for Verification Specialists and the UVM Adopter class back-to-back -back in a class we call Intensive System Verilog and UVM. This means compressing System Verilog even more and compressing the UVM Adopter class into two days, which in effect gives you nine days of training compressed into five days. And it is possible. Again, it kind of works, but it's definitely a compromise and not something we would recommend for most teams. The only time this would be a good idea is if your team are already real experts in object-oriented programming and constrained random verification, such as if you've been using another verification language for several years. But for most teams, this kind of intensive training approach means that you're going to have to set aside a lot more time to practice what you've learnt after the class, and you really need to plan ahead for that. This approach was popular a few years ago, but fortunately, in the last couple of years, we've seen less demand for this kind of intensive approach. More teams nowadays take their System Verilog and UVM training spread across two separate weeks. 
This might mean spending more time in the classroom, but it saves time in the long run because you make fewer mistakes on the project itself. So, I've talked through the System Verilog training options available from us at Doulos. We can also help you with a range of other topics, including hardware design and verification, System C, embedded systems, and ARM processors. So do visit us at doulos.com for more details.